Hello Traveller Night <laughs> Tribe and welcome back. This week we are in Bonhams in London. Uh, we are looking at Peter Green's guitars uh, from the Splinter Group era and I'm joined by Carl Morey. So we have switched guitars. I've got the Fender Custom Shop Relic uh, estimated at five to six thousand and... National Duolian Resonator Guitar 1931. And that's estimated at three to five thousand, okay. And so just so you're aware, that was last tuned up the other day by Joe Bonamassa. There you go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> You have a go on that, you'll, you'll do a better job of showing that off, I think. Let's have a look. I've got 13 guitars and I don't have one that sounds like that. And I'm in London. <laughs> no, you need one. No, you need one. The, the addiction has started. Yeah. Okay, so this is the National Geolian uh, from 1931. So it's nearly 100 years old. Um, it's estimated at three to 5,000. This has got a beautiful little honk to it. It's quite like a big sort of chunky neck on it. Um, there's no, no loose bits, there's no nasty rum, uh, rattles or anything. Definitely got to look into one of them trunky slides. But that just sounds old. It's actually the slower you play it, individual notes. I think the nicer it sounds. Sort of letting it sort of wrap around the body of it. You don't want to play fast on it. So my slide is lovely. It's like a, a, a little stubby one, um, and it's really thin. It's chrome. And there's just no body to the sound I'm getting. Whereas if I could use this bad boy. That is just a world of difference. In fact, let's do that again. You can hear the note just still trying to ring out. There's this little thing. <laughs> like Mickey Mouse has gone to play guitar at a little kid's party. Uh, yeah. Well, that makes a big, big difference. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, really good condition. And for something that's nearly 100 years old, I'd like to look this good at 100.
<laughs> yeah, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit nice. I'm not going there because no, I will yeah. win the drink. <laughs> so that was in the middle. Oh, it's a three way selector. Oh. Wow. Okay, so that's front. Middle. Back. So now I'm with the Fender Custom Shop Relic um, in the beautiful Cologne. The, the relic in on that is beautiful. Obviously some of it done at the shop, some of it's picked up on the years on the road with Peter Green. Um, estimated at five to six thousand. It's a three-way toggle switch. Let's give it a go. Front pickup. Middle pickup. Back pick up. I mean, it's lovely. Again, I'm not bending the strings on this one. These are original uh, Pete Green new strings from years ago, so I don't want to break one of his strings, so I'm going to play very gentle with it, but just to give you the sound of what that feels like again. As we all know, Peter Green didn't play lots of notes. He was known for the gaps between notes. So let's try something with a lot more air around it. So. Yeah, and somebody, somewhere is gonna be very lucky to get this one. This is Claire Tolmoyer from Bonhams. Hello. Hi. Thank you for letting me come down and Carl come down and play today. Do you want to just tell us a little bit how you got involved with all of this? Absolutely. So we're privileged to be offering the Peter Green collection um, direct from his estate. We've got 150 guitars right. um, as well as handwritten lyrics, uh, awards. We've got his slide. We've got pedals, gear, drums. All sorts. Just it's really eclectic. So we go on view on the 24th of June. Okay. Um, everything will be here Amazing. on view for a four day preview. And um, you're on sale from, your auction's open from? So it's an online sale. Mm -hmm. uh, bidding opens on the 16th of June and yeah. it ends on the 28th of June. And obviously everything happens in the last few minutes. Yeah. So that'll be the exciting time <laughs> yeah, yeah. for us all. Your internet suddenly. I hope you got really fast internet exactly. to keep going. Yeah, yeah, click quick. Because you've been selling some amazing collections from other people over the years. Could you tell us a few bits that you've sold recently? We've sold all sorts. Um, most recently we, we offered a Jeff Beck guitar. Yeah. Um, we've offered things from the punk era. Um, um, Ian Curtis, George Harrison, wow. um, we've had Paul McCartney guitars, it's really special, yeah. celebrity associated guitars, they've all got their own story, Yeah, yeah. Um, and they all appeal to different people. Yeah, 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 totally, I mean, these four guitars alone have just got four very different flavours of playing, and very, it makes you want to play in a different way, mm. so it's just, just really interesting is that on the one you just want to be a bit more aggressive than the other one, you just want to mellow out. Uh, like this yeah. one. And this one, yeah, you just, yeah. Want to, you just want to do that one note over and over again. There you go. Uh, <laughs> on, a, on a rocking bench somewhere. Yeah. They've all got their own character and yeah. everyone attaches to a different one brand, yeah. sound, colour. Um, yeah. And it's that's great it. to hear them being brought back to life today. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> me and Carl were like, because we play very different styles anyway, okay. so he was very the yellow guitar and I was the black guitar. Wow. Just, it's, it, just, you can see it suits so many different people. That's good, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much from Truck Light Music. How amazing is this? Yeah, hopefully I'll be back at some point. <laughs> this is uh, hopefully maybe to pick something up. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you so much.